Have you ever wondered why you're attracted to some people and not others? What if I told you there's a science behind attraction? Stay tuned as Don Masler reveals six secrets that could change the way you look at relationships. Welcome to The Mental Family, where we explore the dynamics of the human mind and emotions. Today, we talk about a topic that fascinates everyone, attraction. Did you know that it's not just a matter of chemistry, but also of science? In today's video, we'll dive into the research of Don Maslar, an expert in the biology of attraction, to understand what really happens in our brains when we fall in love. Make sure you stick around until the end, because we're going to reveal a key point that could change your relationships forever. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. And above all, don't forget to like if you find what you're about to discover interesting. Stay with us until the end, because our last point is truly unmissable. 1. The Biology of Attraction The science of attraction begins in the brain. Don Maslar explains that attraction is driven by a complex interplay of neurotransmitters and hormones. One of the main players is dopamine, the reward neurotransmitter. When we are attracted to someone, our brain releases dopamine, making us feel euphoric and want to spend more time with that person. 2. The visual and olfactory factors it's not just the brain that plays a crucial role, but also our senses. Maslar emphasizes the importance of visual and olfactory signals. Studies have shown that we are subconsciously attracted to physical characteristics that indicate health and fertility. Additionally, pheromones, chemicals produced by the body, can influence attraction on a subliminal level. 3. Biological Synchronization Another interesting aspect is biological synchronization. Don Maslar explains that when two people are attracted to each other, their heartbeats and breathing can synchronize. This phenomenon creates a feeling of connection and intimacy that strengthens mutual attraction. 4. The falling in love phase Entering the stage of falling in love means that the brain releases a combination of powerful chemicals like serotonin and oxytocin also known as the love hormone. Oxytocin promotes deep emotional bonds and creates a sense of security and trust. 5. The impact of past experiences. Our past experiences and attachment patterns greatly influence who we find attractive. Maslar points out that we tend to be attracted to people who mirror the dynamics of our earliest relationships. This may explain why we are sometimes attracted to people who are not necessarily right for us. Before we reveal the last key point about the science of attraction, we invite you to leave a comment below. What factors do you think influence attraction the most? And don't forget to share this video with your friends to spread this fascinating information. 6. Reciprocity and Emotional Involvement our last point is about reciprocity and emotional involvement. Don Maslar explains that attraction is strongly influenced by how we perceive the other's interest. Feeling wanted and appreciated creates a positive feedback loop that intensifies attraction. This principle of reciprocity is the basis of many lasting relationships. And that brings us to the end of our journey into the science of attraction according to Don Maslar. We hope this information has given you a new perspective on the dynamics of relationships. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on all our content. Leave a like and share the video with anyone you think could benefit from it. Thanks for following along and see you next time we explore some fascinating new topics in psychology.